All right, we begin with breaking news out of Southern California, where a major oil spill off the coast is being called a potential ecological disaster. The leak is about three miles off the coast of Huntington Beach, and experts estimate as much as 126,000 gallons of post-production crude spilled out, apparently from an offshore oil production site. The impacts to wildlife are already visible. Oil has now started to wash ashore along with dead fish and birds. These are wetlands that we've been working with the Army Corps of Engineers, with the land trust, with all the community wildlife partners to make sure to ha create this beautiful natural habitat for decades, and now just in a day, so it's completely destroyed. On Friday afternoon, people began smelling oil off the Orange County coast, and by Saturday, oil in the ocean was visible, while boaters, swimmers, and marine wildlife swam through it. Then overnight Saturday and Sunday morning, oil began to wash onto beaches and marshland along the Huntington Beach coast, leading to softball-sized clumps of oil in the water. The most recent oil spill in the U.S. has happened in Orange County, but why did they take so long to report it. I'm Caroline Johnson. Thanks for watching. Their parent company is called Amplify Energy. And so the they'll be responsible for being accountable for the cleanup, the financial consequences, making sure that the cities, the counties, the private uh, entities that were impacted get reimbursed. And of course, making sure that our uh, natural habitat are properly cleaned up. And already uh, we're able to report that a lot of that wildlife is already in peril because there are reports of dead fish already washing ashore and birds coated in oil. Spill has now reached the local Talbert Marsh, an environmentally sensitive wetland, and although it'll take time to know the extent of the damage to wildlife, as the oil continues to permeate the marine habitats, the LA Times reports that the oil has already killed or poisoned untold numbers of birds, fish, and mammals. Residents are furious, like Bill Grimes, who asked the LA Times when are people going to wake up and realize that drilling offshore of Southern California is crazy? This oil spill is a tragic reminder that offshore drilling is a devastating threat to our coast and its wildlife, said Miyoko Sakashida, director of the Center for Biological Diversity's Oceans Program. She goes on, I've seen the aging oil platforms off Huntington Beach up close, and I know it's past time to decommission these time bombs. Even after fines and criminal charges, the oil industry is still spilling and leaking into California. California's coastal waters because these companies just aren't capable of operating safely. Amplify Energy and Beta Operating, the companies behind this particular oil drilling site, came out of bankruptcy just four years ago and since have amassed 125 federal non-compliance incidents and violations, according to a database maintained by the Federal Bureau of Safety and Environmental Enforcement. Although California banned new offshore oil operations way back in 1969, offshore drilling sites in operation before that were allowed to continue, but their decades-old designs make them prone to failure. The government needs to take more aggressive action against offshore oil drilling, in my opinion, fully banning it, or at the very least, aggressively monitoring the deteriorating conditions of sites. Environmental activists note that no matter how safe a site may be, where you drill, you spill. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at Caro Johnson 917.